Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today let's create a pattern and add it to the pattern docker. To make this tutorial worthwhile, we'll design a pattern that can be used to create a gift wrapping paper for young children. Let's get started. Create a small new document. Make it 500 pixels by 500 pixels. You can leave the resolution to 300 ppi. Hit Create. When the document opens, lock the background right away. This way you won't paint on it by accident. Before you begin, know that you have a few options. Option number one, you can create a new layer and paint a picture from scratch. Option number two, you can import an image from any royalty-free media websites that you know, like Unsplash, Pixabay or Pexels. Just drag the image to your canvas and import it as a new layer. Option number three, you can import one of your own creations. If you choose to import an image, just make sure it's in a PNG format. It is very important that the image comes with no background. I am going to import one of my chibi creations. If you are new to this channel and don't know how to import an image into Krita, let me show you how to do it. Go to Layer, choose Import Export, select Import Layer. Choose your image and click Open. The image will open within its own layer above the background. Here again, you have a few options. You can stop at this point and use the image as your pattern design. Depending on the image that you have chosen, it may actually be enough. Another option would be to replicate the image throughout the canvas in different sizes, just like I am showing you right here. Finally, and I think it would be a better option, you could continue and surround the image with cute decorations. Let's do that. I am going to keep working and create one layer that I will fill with stars and one layer that I will fill with hearts. To make the design more fun, I'll create these in different sizes and colors using brushes that I have created a while ago. So see you in a few seconds. We need to preview what our pattern is going to look like. To do so, we need to turn on the wraparound mode. This mode is super helpful. It helps spot mistakes and helps in deciding what items we should remove, edit or add. For now, I don't see anything that I want to remove or edit. However, I see plenty of ugly gaps that need to be filled. Maybe I'll surround it with flowers. It's finally time to save a pattern, but before to do so, we have a few more things we need to do. First, turn off the wraparound mode. Your canvas is going to become your pattern tile. So please don't worry about the shapes that are cut off at the edges of a tile. It's completely normal. Second, we need to merge all the layers into one. But before to do so, I would advise you to save this work as a Krita file. All right, now that it is saved, you can merge the layers. Holding the Shift key on your keyboard, click on the very top layer. Now click on the bottom layer, the one that is above the background. This will select all the layers. Now hit Ctrl plus E. You can rename the merged layer if you want. 
The final step is to get rid of the background, so unlock the background layer and remove it. We are now ready to save the tile and by doing so it will add it to the pattern library. See this uh, pattern uh, quick access menu in the toolbar right next uh, to the gradient window? Click on it. This will open the pattern docker. Click on the custom pattern tab. To preview the pattern, click update. To save the pattern, click on add to predefined patterns. This uh, takes us to Krita's uh, patterns folder. Rename your new pattern. Maybe add your initials and a date. You can save your pattern as a PNG or as a GIMP patterns type. I'll leave mine as a GIMP. Open a new document. Maybe choose the US letter format. Set up the document as a landscape. Create a new layer and this time do not lock the background. Grab the Fill tool. In the Tool Options Docker you will notice three buttons. We are going to work in the Pattern button. Time to grab our newly made pattern. Open the Pattern Docker. Scroll down until you find your pattern. With your left mouse button, click on it to select it. Now with your left mouse button, click anywhere on the canvas. And here it is. If your pattern comes crooked, it is because the angle is not set at zero degree. In the Tool Options Docker, type 0 in this input window and click Enter. We are still working on the same layer. So let's hit Ctrl plus Z to undo what we have on the screen first. Now with your left mouse button, click anywhere on the canvas. And the pattern is back, but this time it is straight. Before to leave, I would like to show you a few more things. You can modify the size of your pattern by using this slider. Let me turn off this layer and create a brand new layer on the top of this one. Now watch. I am going to decrease the size of the pattern and click on the canvas. And voila! That's uh, really, really small uh, compared to the other size. Finally, uh, get back to the background layer. Remember, we created a pattern with no background. Doing so, this allows us to have endless uh, background possibilities. So go ahead and uh, test uh, different colors and uh, textures uh, if you want. If you want to send your pattern to some professional shops and have them print your gift of wrapping paper, please know that they may ask you to send them your design as a PDF file. I believe, but I could be wrong, that they may also ask you to have your pattern on a white background. At least some of them may do. We cannot save images as a PDF in Krita, however, there is a way around it. Let me show you. We are going to save the image as a TIFF. We could save the image without a background as a PNG image. However, know that when you open a PNG image in Adobe Acrobat, it puts a white background automatically, so why bother? <laughs> Let's save the image. Go to File. Choose Save As. In the Save As Type input box, use the drop down menu and find TIFF Image. A window will appear giving you a few options. 
In the first drop-down menu, choose the compression option Lampe, Ziv and Welsh. This is a compression algorithm used for TIFF format. Leave the other drop-down menu alone. Finally, and this is only if it's not already done, make sure to uncheck Store Alpha Channel, check Flatten the image and check Save ICC Profile. Click OK. We are in Adobe Acrobat. Go to File. Choose Open. In this box located right above Open and Console, use the drop-down menu and select All Files. Now you can see all files in your folder. Find your image and select it. Click Open. We are going to save it, so back to File. Choose Save As. Choose a folder where you want the image to go. In the Save As Type input box, leave the option as Save As Adobe PDF File. And hit Save. And we are done! Thank you for watching my little channel. And for all of you who have subscribed, I really appreciate all the love and support. I will see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful weekend or week. Au revoir et à bientôt.